In this lesson, we are going to see how to calculate the equation of a tangent to a function. In the four previous lessons, we had a look at how to determine the gradient of a tangent to a curve, and we did that by using first principles and our formula, and also by using the rules of differentiation. And now that we are able to calculate the gradient of the tangent, we are going to continue by calculating the equation of the tangent. The equation of a tangent is in the form of a straight line, y is equal to mx plus c. And to determine this equation, there are always three steps that you can follow. These three steps are not always necessarily in the same order. One of these steps will be to determine the point of contact, and this is the coordinate, the x and y values, where the tangent touches the graph. Next, you also need to determine the gradient, the m value of that tangent, and we know that that is the derivative of the function at that given point of contact. And the third step is to calculate the c value or the y intercept, and that can be done by substituting the point of contact into the equation of the straight line. Let's have a look at a few examples. Example 1. Determine the equation of the tangent to the graph of f at x is 3. This function f is a parabola, and we are asked to determine the tangent's equation at the point x is equal to 3. As mentioned previously, there will always be three steps we need to follow, and I'm going to start off determining the point of contact. We already know that the x-coordinate of this point of contact is 3, so to calculate the y-coordinate, we are going to substitute 3 into this function's x-values. This will give us a y-value of 6, so we know that the point of contact is 3, 6. Next, we can determine the gradient of this tangent, and for that, we know that gradient is the derivative of this function at the point x is 3. To get this derivative, I'm going to use my rules of differentiation. So the exponent of 2 in my first term is going to the front, and I'm subtracting 1 in the exponent. And the second term is linear, and then I know that the derivative is the constant in front. Here we now have the gradient at any point, but we are looking for the gradient at x is 3. So we are going to substitute x with 3. And then we'll see that the gradient at x is 3 is 5. Our last step is to calculate the y-intercept. And at the moment, we know that the equation is y is equal to 5x plus c, because we just calculated the gradient as 5. And next, we can substitute the coordinate, the point of contact. So y becomes 6 and x becomes 3. And now we can solve c, and we'll see that the y-intercept is minus 9. And this means the equation of the tangent at x is 3 is y is equal to 5x minus 9. Example 2. Determine the equation of the tangent to the graph of f that has a gradient of 4. So this time, the x-value of the point of contact is not given, but the gradient is given. So the first of our three steps here will be that we already know that the gradient is 4. And now we need to determine both the x and y values of our point of contact, as well as the y-intercept. To calculate the coordinates of our point of contact, we will need to make use of the fact that we already know the gradient is 4. So we know that the derivative at a specific point, or the gradient, is 4. To determine my derivative, I'm once again going to make use of the rules of differentiation. So here I will have 2x plus 2, and this should be equal to a gradient of 4. Next, we can then solve x, and if we do that, we will see that the x-coordinate of the point of contact is 1. And to find the y-value of the point of contact, we will substitute 1 into our original function, and this will give us a y-value of 3, which means that the point of contact is 1, 3. Lastly, we can determine the y-intercept, because we already know that the equation is y is equal to 4x plus c. 
and we have our point of contact, so we can substitute y with 3 and x with 1, and then we can calculate our c value as minus 1. And then the equation of this tangent at the point x is 1 will then be 4x minus 1.